particular is here at CS 2026 with a data and addition to the standard memory and SSD products you'd expect. We're also seeing a lot of additional add-ons for systems, power supplies, gaming equipment, chassis, and a lot more. On the power supply side, we're told that XPG's got a variety of new products coming to market. They have products that are integrated, modular, semi-modular for a variety of different applications from system builders to serious users. The one that really kind of caught our eye is this PIMCOR Platinum. This is a small form factor power supply. XPG Dock is basically an open frame design that the folks at XPG have been using for developing some of their own ideas because they're constantly opening and closing systems. This is an open frame design. It's modular, it's customizable. You can have vertical, horizontal, or corner install placements. And they have an exoskeleton design language, apparently. One thing that I haven't seen before is that it's got expandability through magnetic add-ons, like for example, this headphone holder, which you can, which you can basically clamp onto the side and then add in your headset. But to be perfectly honest, it's the headset itself is more interesting. This is their Precog Studio headset, which XPG claims is the world's first balanced gaming headset for the ultimate audio experience. What makes it different is it uses a 4.4 millimeter connector for total channel separation and reduced crosstalk. And apparently, if you found this kind of setup on a conventional headset, you'd be paying at least $200 for it. But XPG are going to bring it to market for around about $69. On this open platform system, we're seeing the Levante View 360, which is a cooler with a 3.95 inch LCD display on the top, which goes onto the 360 mil radiator with three separate pre-installed ARGB fans. And they've got some additional technology. XPG's had a system whereby periodically the fans will spin in reverse to remove dust from inside your system. They've now integrated this with some software that detects things like if you have a, a, a failure on a fan, so it detects that the fan is not, it detects that the fan is not moving. Tells you you've got a fan warning, and what it will do is it actually upspins the fans next to it, so it increases the RPM of the fans nearby to ensure that your airflow remains constant. XPG's also got a new range of accessories, including the Nimbus chair, which, as you'd expect, in this day and age, is ergonomical. Memory's in the news recently because everyone's talking about whether you can actually buy memory or not, but XPG I've also got an eco-driven memory series. These modules you see here are a little bit unusual because they use up to 50% recycled aluminium and 85% PCR plastic type materials. So if you can find the memory, then you know you're doing something good for the planet. XPG were demonstrating regular memory modules. So Lancer RGB DDR5 on this rig and Lancer QDIM RGB DDR5 on this rig over here. The one that's interesting but doesn't really have an application at the moment is this one. This is high capacity four rank DDR QDIM. So you've got the world's first high capacity four rank DDR5 QDIM memory modules with a capacity up to 128 gigabytes. But we've heard rumors on the grapevine that this was supported with the last generation of Core Ultra motherboards, for example, the Z890 platform from MSI, but that this support may not be in the refresh motherboards that come along soon. So this is a next generation high packing density memory solution that helps you get more memory per module, accessing all four simultaneously on two sticks. Another thing that ADATA are doing is launching Truster, which is uh, an enterprise class product. So basically you're talking about situations where it's more important to use TLC than QLC because you want uh, maximum stability on reads and writes when you're getting up to high speeds, 12, 14 um, thousand megabytes per second. And this range of products is designed specifically for high-end content creators, businesses, and people that really need reliability on their data. Just to finish off, there are a variety of what look like completely modded, customized chassis on show but apparently some of these might actually make it to market. Certainly the Invader X Elite is a large scale chassis that they're hoping to bring to market. And right on the very end, they've got the next generation of XPG cooling, which includes some innovations and designs that might seem familiar in terms of size, LCD panel, and the ability to wrap 
coloured pixels around a corner.